Welcome back to Ambinar. So, things are not good. Uh, my capital is under siege, and I have no way of getting my weakened army back home to stop it. It's quite bad, really. My only hope, really, is that they'll peace out with Oral Gulbrick, and then I can get Black Flag and return home. You sure you want to do that? That should have been an overrun. I don't know why it wasn't, but all right. Wrong person to get pieced out, damn it. Yeah, I have to rely on my allies to defend me right now, and that's not okay. Uh, do I keep my current guy? He's old. He might drop dead soon. And I am fairly low in Republican tradition. Uh, fuck. A really bad time for my uh, leader to get old. And also be low in Republican tradition. Give me the military guy. 414? Not bad. Okay, good. My ally took the other side of the strait. So if I can take this fort here in a reasonable amount of time, then I can cross the strait and return home to deal with the enemy. Fortunately, they actually appear to be struggling to take my capital, which is very nice. I really wish I can get my army back home, though. Uh, do I think... Nah, the enemy has too many boats. There's no way I can blockade this. Oh shit, the enemy took the strait again. Well, fuck. I really just need this guy to be, um, peace out. If he gets peace out, I can just run back home, because I'll be black flagged. Or at least I should be black flagged. I don't think I'm going to lose anything in this war, though. Well, it's going to suck that I am going to lose this war, it's not the end of the world. Because I find it very unlikely that I'm going to lose anything. This guy doesn't want my land. This guy doesn't want my land. This guy, yeah, no, nobody on the enemy side wants my land, so I shouldn't lose any land. The worst thing that would happen is maybe they'll release someone, but that person they release will be of my culture and religion, so... Eh? Is that really an issue at that point? I don't know. 100 gold? That would be two loans? Ah, oh, fuck. My economy's already shit as is. Depend on the colony, fuck it. I'm also going to... Do I fire this advisor? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, they're gonna take my capital pretty soon. I really wish I would have given my capital a uh, proper fort, but I just kept putting it off like, oh, I could do it later, I could do it later. No reason that by the time the crisis happened, it was too late, and I was like, oh, fuck. Please, peace out with this man. Please. I need to black flag my army. Oh, I think even if I were to black flag my army, it'd be too late. Oh, shit. Yeah, you know, I think we lost. Um, oh, well. I'll just have to uh, spend some time recovering from this then. Yeah, I can't even cross the strait because my ally... Actually, you there. Uh... I want you to... You, get over here. Siege this for me. And hopefully I can siege the fort. And get the hell out of here. Because <laughs> I don't like being here. I'm stuck behind enemy lines and I can't do anything about it. Uh, ugh, yeah, any Republican tradition give me that. They still haven't taken my capital yet, though, which is a goddamn miracle. But it's only a matter of time. Still haven't done it. I could cross. Wait, I could cross? Uh, well... Mate! Mate! <laughs> get over here! I need you to argue by the straight, you bastard. Oh, no. Well, uh, they killed my rebels for me. That's quite nice of them. Very nice. Mate! <laughs> Come fucking save me, you asshole. <laughs> god damn it. Oh my god, this guy's just being an absolute prick. I can cross this straight if he just occupied that shit. Oh, I hate this man so much. I didn't suppose I could hire some mercenaries. Nah, I'm too poor for that shit. I'm just gonna sit in the war until they peace out the war leader. What? Really? Uh, is it because they sent me a peace deal and I didn't accept it? Is that it? Because I fucking hate that bullshit and that should not be a goddamn mechanic. So I'm not going to accept a peace deal in this situation. I'm just going to peace out and let the uh, the war leader, like, die. <laughs> Let's see. Is it because of this? Are people expect us to accept? Uh, I don't want to accept. I want to just, like, wait until the war is over. 250 gold. Ugh. War reps for 10 years. Well, if I'm going to lose stability every time they send me a peace deal, I have to accept it. Well, lads, go home. We tried our best. Oh, and I'm still at war, of course, with the other assholes. I'm just not going to worry about it. I, I need to fix my economy after that shit show. Yeah, I've taken out loans. Thank you for that. You know, I'm purely in just economic recovery at this point. Everybody else keep fighting. I've decided not to fight. You know, if the enemies want to come fight me, they have to go through all my allies. So I'll, I'll see them coming. So it's not a big deal if I just ignore them. I think I will finish up quantity ideas, though, uh, instead of going on to... Military techs. Probably a good idea. I don't know. Ooh, nice. Extra base manpower and just 5,000 manpower. That's very nice. And an election. Uh, my guy's old as fuck. He has a negative trait. I think I'm going to say screw him and just get a new guy. Alright. Uh, 
another 414. And okay, he's got reduced tech cost. He is old, but I think just reduced tech cost alone makes him worth keeping. Ooh, a magical experiment gone wrong. Uh, yeah, who cares? Mages will be mages. I can actually potentially use this as a way to force the mages into a different uh, organization. Although, uh, yeah, maybe not actually. Or at least it wouldn't be cheap. It would be like expensive. Because you had 2 stability, 200 admin. That's basically 400 admin points right there. Or, well, more like 450 because the second stability would cost 150. Yeah, I think I'm going to ignore it, unfortunately. Huh, I don't think I've ever really looked at the, uh... Yeah, the governing capacity increasing privileges, to be honest. Because, yeah, do they all just give 10 loyalty? Okay, well, oh, no, okay. Oh, that's why I don't like them. So, yeah, the Adventurers one is actually kind of good. Like, it just gives them 10 loyalty without any of the influence. But the rest of them are like, no, yeah, they give it influence as well, so... Alright, never mind. I have 450 golden debt. Hell yeah, man. Woo, I'm poor as shit. I actually might start, uh... I'm honestly considering just exploiting my tax. Yeah, I don't hate that idea. Yeah, pay off some of my debts. Uh, maybe use that exploited tax to build more buildings. Yeah, I don't know about that, but... Yeah, sure, let's do it. Yeah, I can now use that to pay off the debt. Awesome. Only two, but... Hey, that's like 100 gold right there, so that's not bad. Oh no, rebels. Or natives. Shit. Get over there, kick their ass. I actually forgot about that, to be honest. Oh no, my colony. You bastards. You fucking asshole natives. I'm just trying to colonize this land. Dickheads. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm at peace, so I can actually ask for war rights again. Uh, who's the Federation leader this time around now? That's a good question. Oh, and actually, now that I'm looking at this, I could talk about the things that I completely fucked up. <laughs> so I made a note of this in uh, yesterday's video. Where... Uh, when I was requesting the uh, support in the uh, the house, the assembly house, uh, what I was doing was I was lowering my standing. So, yeah, and I don't know how to get that back up, aside from doing missions. But with how bad my economy is right now, doing missions is not really a thing I can do right now. All right, well, who is the Federation leader? Vahijigiv. I don't know who the fuck that is. Well, all I know is I'm not going to be the Federation leader anytime soon, so... Fun! Also, fuck this guy. He's been causing me issues. Oh, veg... Alright, I'm actually going to try befriending him so I can maybe get war rights. You know, if I just befriend the leader of the Federation, that'd be great. They have no ill will towards me, I have no ill will towards them. There we go, neutral. No, 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 I'm neutral. Dumb as fuck game. I have no reason to be hostile to them. In fact, if anything, I should be very friendly towards them. You know, the Federation is still in crisis. I think it's between the... Oh no, you're still fighting. Yeah, no, the, the uh, essential guys actually won. I'm surprised. I would have thought they'd be the ones to lose, but apparently not. There are two types of people, those who wield weapons and those who pay for them. Both contributions are equally valid, and the time has come to choose which service we will lend to the Federation as a whole. So I could be a sword or a purse faction? I'm going to be a... Uh... Good question. <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. My economy's not very good, and my army's not very good. Well, considering I care less about Diplo points right now, I think I'll join the purse faction. Although I'm not very rich, to be honest. Right, I don't want to keep this guy. He's old, he's got great traits, and my Republic tradition is bare minimum above 50. Uh, yeah, I'll keep him around for another term. I might have to cycle him out again after this term, though. Also, for some reason, my outliner was closed. Don't know why, just was. Alright, pretty soon I'll be able to grab Renaissance slots, which will give me another idea group. That'll be economic ideas. There we go, very nice. It's so damn expensive. 32% increased. 820. Ugh. I don't really have a choice, though. But with economic and quantity, then I'll be able to develop Renaissance pretty cheaply, I'd hope. They won the war, so they get a bunch of standing in the Federation. It's not great, but hey, at least the crisis is over. Hey, and I even ended it with due stability. That's not too bad. If I can get a traitor, which I can't. Alright, never mind. We'll just go down the center route, then. Or I can do firing changes. Or oh, I can't, because I need money for that. Fuck. Alright. At least now I can finally colonize the one province I've wanted to colonize for a while. I've just been unable to because of shit. Oh, and because I have a fish producing province, this is 200 points cheaper for me to do. Hell yeah. Oh, and well, somebody else has already done this though. Damn it. Yeah, I gotta get down to free trade then. Because nobody has done free trade yet. Also, I need to figure out how to raise my standing in the Federation, ideally. Ah. Yes, yeah, so if I do the opposite option, the option that I said I wouldn't do 
in the previous video. Well, that will give me some standing. God, I feel like a dumbass. <laughs> it says in big red text here, we will lose some standing with the Federation. I didn't fucking read that. <laughs> Let's try to make my relation with the Federation better, yeah? The cost of war. And I'm guessing it's because I lost that war, I guess? Probably. I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty bad. For 15 years? Fuck. Alright, that's not too bad. I mean, it throws me more into debt, which is not what I want, but it's not too bad, I guess. Yeah, I need to get the adventurers up to 60 loyalty, ideally. The problem is, though, there's so much shit that will just cause me issues. I guess I'll give them uh, this, since that doesn't give them any... Th oh, but that gives them land. Fuck. That's fine. Ish. I can also do this here... Because if I were to remove the supremacy over the council, which is actually how I intended to get them below 25%, then that would actually do exactly what I need it to do. I don't know. See, that's going to bring their equilibrium up to 60%. When I take away the supremacy over the council, then they'll drop below 25%, and then I could change their organization. As for the mages, I don't know how I want to deal with them. Um, I do want to change their organization at some point as well. But for now, I can't do too much about it. Okay, so provinces producing iron or copper are improved. Uh, do I even have many iron and copper provinces? Uh, let's see. I've got two coppers. And I believe that that means that they get two production. Oh, this one actually got some tax as well. Interesting. I could do colonial offices now for 150 diplo points and increasing my dev cost by 10%, which is really bad. That's kind of fucking rude, but all right. I can also do the Centaur Menace. Uh, there's also mainland territories. Okay, so that's just have five fully colonized provinces. Okay. Uh, do I want to do this one? This will get me down to the place of everyone, but the mission was already completed. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> uh, God, yeah, with so many different people, like, being able to, like, do missions. Like, it makes it hard to actually be the one to actually complete the missions. Yeah, let's do the Centaur Menace. It increases my... Cost, but that just gets me farther down the mission tree. Just auto complete that one because somebody else already did it. Ah, okay, so now my mission tree splits because I decided to join the purse faction as opposed to the sword faction. Well, let's look at the uh, rewards for this then. So, reduce my taxes and lose a lot of diplo points. Oh, I get plus six yearly tax income for the rest of the game. I mean, that's not much, but six gold a year is alright, I guess. I can invest in the Federation Central Bank. And only the city that benefits the most? Okay. And most people probably aren't going to be going down this path just yet, because they're going to be just unlocked it recently. And then I get Central Bank for the rest of the game. If I win it, at least. Ooh. And I get a big amount of standing with the Federation. That would be nice. I need to get my economy booming, though. My economy is really bad, and I can't be doing, like, big, mass-scale Federation projects like that. Okay, well, the Federation leader isn't too happy about me. Or, well, he's not willing to ally me, but... Can I have war rights? In fact, I'm gonna, like, say that I'm friendly towards you. How's that? Mm hmm Yeah? You wanna be friends, buddy? Buddy old pal? Oh, hell yeah. That actually worked. <laughs> they are still the Federation leader, right? So this is, uh... Vegiyivivigiv. And the Federation leader is... Vegiyivivigiv. And they're actually the same faction as me. I wonder if that gives, like, a thing. No? Okay. Well, surely I can get war rights now, right? I uh, lose Diplorep for the rest of the game, but I can declare war on Federation members. This is good. And I go up to three stability. Hell yeah. Actually, I should get, like, one more infantry just so that I just overrun the uh, the natives whenever they show up. Yeah, I wish I didn't have these damn Diplo expenses. Yeah, if I could just get rid of my Diplo expenses and my interest... Then my economy would actually be pretty decent. Also, I should definitely, like, look into doing Defend Our Capital. That way, if there is another crisis, I'm ready for it this time. <laughs> Which there probably will be another crisis. Ooh, okay, so there's actually a second mission to have ten cities uh, on the mainland. And then that gives me uh, even more standing in the Federation. This is good, because I really need to fucking fix my standing after... <laughs> Just really, royally fucking it up. <laughs> Ooh, the agenda's about to expire. Fuck. Um, that was the colonizing one, right? Yeah. Is it good enough if I just have the province with a colonist, or, or with a colony on it? No, I actually have to fully finish the colony. Holy shit. That, that was just rude, you native bastards. Go away. Alright, well, unfortunately, I'm gonna fail that. 
Like, without expansion or exploration ideas, that was basically just impossible for me. Yeah, so long as... Actually, if the Federation leader changes, do I lose my war rights? I don't know if I want to find out, to be honest. I'd prefer if I just became the war leader, or the war leader, the Federation leader. Yeah, let's keep this guy around a little bit more. Well, how much tech am I really going to be taking? Now, I think it's probably better for my Republican tradition to just say no to it. Let's grab a bureaucrat, because I want to get through economic ideas as fast as possible. I can send a delegation, good, get another politic point, and I'm going to use that politic point. I cannot use that politic point to increase my standing, that's fine, I'll just have to wait a little bit. I should probably have my fleet protecting trade. Yeah, that'll give me a little bit more trade. That'd be kind of nice to have, to be honest. Oh, good, and my uh, fleet is actually still rather safe, because they're just protecting trade up here. Which doesn't make much sense, but yeah, sure, I'll take it. <laughs> yep, up to 26%, that should help out the economy a good bit. Up to 3.24 ducats a month, hell yeah. I can actually maybe afford to have advisors, yeah. Has the religion high philosophy? What the hell? What the hell's that? I didn't see any high philosophy around here. Ooh, uh, do a mission to build a workshop. Yeah, I don't have a adventurer's proposal, so yeah, I'm going to do the merchant one. I also spent 300 diplo points to uh, finance the fights. Now I need 117, 116 gold to uh, do local banks. Shit. It's so goddamn expensive. Fuck. All right, my colony is about to finish. Good shit. I'll call back the guy early. Yeah, send him here just to get the next one going. Ah, oh, damn it, I didn't do fast enough. Oh, well. Yeah, now we can do the mission for colonies on the continent. And yeah, that went to this province. This province is better. And this province is also a uh, natural harbor, which is very nice. Uh, can I... Nope, I can only request aid, which I don't want to do. I'm going to have to install a model real quick because this is a... <sighs> yeah, no, there's a problem that, uh, that I just uh, didn't realize. I need to just install a mod that will allow me to, like, see, like, another thing so I can actually replace the adventure organization. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, that doesn't look right. Um, hmm. <laughs> yeah, that didn't uh, fix anything, How does it? I have to probably turn off my other UI mod, which I don't really want to do. Yeah, fuck, I'll have to figure out a different plan then. Okay, well, now that shit show has been dealt with. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with the adventurers then. Well, this was really the only way I can deal with them is do a mission for them. Yeah, I think that's how I'm gonna have to do it then. Uh, it kind of sucks though. Yep, send the delegation, expel the centaurs. Can't buddy up with the Federation right now. When does that modifier piss off? Shared granaries. It pisses off in okay next year. I guess maybe it lasts for like ten years or something. I don't know. That sounds about right. Five, ten years, somewhere around there. I'm actually very tempted to make uh, this guy. Oh wait, that's a centaur clan. Oh, shit. He's a subjugate horde of Silvermane. Oh, fuck off. Okay. Holy shit. That's a lot of fucking events. It's just like, boom, boom, boom. Fuck you. Alright. Yeah, free trade is still available. Well, I would prefer to get a trader. But the problem is a trader is useful for the next rank as well. Uh, fuck. I'm gonna try to get a trader. Come on, trader. Please. That's not a trader. I need a trader. Come on. I've got, like, one more chance. But I accidentally just paid off a goddamn loan. God damn, that loan showed up at the exact wrong time. Fuck. Oh, and I also just spent my admin point, so I can't do this anymore. Well, never mind. Alright, cool. It's fantastic. Yeah, I think the only way I'm going to be able to do this is by... Yeah, taking away one of the adventurer's privileges. And then... Getting a mission for them. And doing that mission. I think that's like the only way I'm going to be able to do it. Ooh, I gained mercantilism. Or I can have free trade. I kind of prefer free trade, to be honest. Because, yeah, 20% trade efficiency bonus for the rest of the game, but I can't embargo people as effectively. Oh, well. I barely embargo people as is. I only do it to my rivals because for the power projection. So, yeah. I lose 20 mercantilism, so that'll tank my mercantilism. But, yeah, 20% trade efficiency is better than... What, what is it? Like, 100% provincial trade power modifier or some shit? And I even gained some standing in the Federation, so I don't hate it. it. does suck losing out on a 250 Monarch Point swing, but... Eh, I, I prefer free trade. Give me it. Why am I getting nothing but fucking diplomats? I don't want diplomats. I want traders. Fuck. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Death of a merchant? Cool. I'll take that money, definitely. So I can try to get a trader. Give me a trader. You fucking bitch. <laughs> Spent so much money trying to get a trader, and it's so annoying. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, an election and also government reform at the same time. 
Well, I personally don't like Parliament. I really don't. I think it's a bad mechanic that has just gone worse with the uh, the state changes. So, yeah, I'm not going to take Parliament, to be honest. I hate it. As for the election, uh, the guy's old. I think I'm just going to take another bureaucrat. Why am I getting so many diplomats? This is very annoying and I hate it. I just want a damn trader so I can do free trade. Oh, I got to do... Wait, I thought I already, did, I already did this. Uh, I guess not. Oh, somebody else did free trade. Fuck. That's what happened. God damn it. Well, yeah, there's no point not doing this if I don't have a trader then anymore. I should keep getting bad events, man. Events that just keep taking away my money or my stability and shit. It's so annoying. Yeah, looking at the modifiers for the sword faction, I wish I joined the sword faction now. They're much better. Oh, I could do farming changes, huh? I do need to get down here at some point, and I need to get a trader for the right path. So, yeah, sure, I'll do this. Hell yeah. Uh, mainland territories, get some prestige, gain some federation standing. Hell yeah. Ooh, this guy's nice and young, actually. I might keep him around for a little while. Yeah. Oh, but minus one diplo rep? Ew. I think I'll still keep him around, though, because he's pretty damn young. All right, I brought myself back up to normal standing. Not bad. Seems like everybody else is, like, tanking their standing as well, though. Or no, I'm just looking at the wrong page, apparently. <laughs> Very much, apparently. Goddamn. There's just more I could do with my political points. But yeah, I don't want to request Federation aid, because I want to try to become the Federation leader again. Oh, boy, well, yeah. Everything is just about ready. I just need to do a mission for the adventurers, and I can change them over to me much better. And then I actually can kind of use the adventurers, as opposed to sort of, like, half-ass using that I am right now. All right, come on, give me a adventurer's quest. Hell yeah. Uh, colonizer of a colonial subject. Fully colonize any province of the Pyrtisk area. Oh, fuck. Did you really have to make it such an awkward goddamn quest? Where even is that? Oh, what the shit? Seriously? I hate you guys so much. I finally get the ability to deal with the adventurers, and they do this to me. Well, the economy's gonna go on a fucking shit trip pretty soon. You know what? Abandon this colony. Well... No, it's almost done. Fuck it. Keep them there. I honestly might just sell this province to the centaurs when it's finished colonizing, to be honest. Because I don't want it. I don't. Is there a centaur nearby? No. It's just these assholes. Cool. Because I don't fucking want it. I don't. Why is it physically impossible for me to get a goddamn trader? That's all I want. Oh, natives attack my colony. Cool. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, they'll survive. Barely, though. You know, this colony's almost finished. Go down here and defend this colony. And then at some point, I'll sell it. I don't know when, but I will. Oh good, there's colonialism now. And I still don't even have renaissance. Great. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Well, once I finish up economic ideas, I can start developing for institutions. Oh good, that colony's self-sustaining, so now my economy isn't just in the goddamn garbage. That's good. And now maybe I can get me a trader. Oh, there's actually a trader in there. It's just they're level 2, and I don't want a level 2 guy. Fuck. Oh, it's so expensive, I don't want to do this, but it's a trader. And I need a trader to do this for cheaper, so yeah, sure. And automatically complete free trade. Yeah, and I have to do educate the farmers, which I need 250 admin points or 10 innovativeness. Cool. Yeah, I think I'm gonna fire you now that I don't need you anymore. There we go. That was too fucking expensive. Yeah, I don't like how close the centaurs are getting. It's kind of making me feel a little uneasy. Well, you're not a centaur. Oh, never mind then. Still, though, the centaurs are big, and uh, at least there's two, like, big centaur factions, at least. So that's gonna cause them some issues. Oh, inevitably, one of them is going to eat the other, and then there's just going to be problems for me. And the rest of the Federation, that is not good. Ah, good. My influ my influence? My inflation is now just going down. It's very nice. And yeah, that'll just help my economy out so much. 7% inflation is so bad. Okay, good. That colony finished, so now the adventurers are at 60%. So we have to take away supremacy of the council. That'll piss off the nobles. But, it'll weaken the adventurers, so I can do this. Yes, do licensed adventurers, which doesn't lower my absolutism, it doesn't take away Crownland, but it gives them influence and loyalty, and that is what I want. Yes, indeed. Now I can actually kind of use the adventurers, that feels kind of good. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do with the adventurers, but yeah, I'm just going to come back up here, colonize this province, and I'm just going to not colonize this province fully. Uh, you guys want it? It's yours, my friend. So long as you have enough rubies. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna want to buy it, to be honest. No, oh, they're bankrupt, so I can't even sell them a province anyway. It's good shit. Dumb fucks. Would you like this province? Uh, they're willing to take it for, like, almost free. 
Like, I'll give you 15 ducats. Cool. That sounds like a good deal to me. I don't want it. I only did it for the damn mission. But, I think that's a good slowing off point. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe. Discord description below. And I'll see you next time.